All right, fellow radio nerds. So today we have the Apex 4000. This is a single knob. Um, model 2. Um, this specific one has uh, five algorithms on it. So it's got hardware encryption. Um, so I believe it's got ADP, DES, and AES. Um, and those variants. So totals of five. Um... This one's a little bit different because it's a one knob radio. So the only difference between this and the XTL or the Apex One Thousand is that this has hardware encryption. Um, I have heard of people converting One Thousands to Four Thousands. I've never tried it myself. Don't intend to. Um, the only things I've converted are these, and we'll get into that at some other point. So we'll go ahead and boot this up. So this one's interesting. Like I said, it's one knob. So to turn it on. Press and hold. So nay. Fourteen and it boots. dispatch. Now, like I said, this is a UHF, so nobody needs to go crazy about um, trunking RSSIs and whatnot. Um, this is legit. Um, I'm working on another video to explain how all that works. Um, it's relatively easy. There's some software out there you can run off of Raspberry Pi. Um, so, um, yeah, it's connected it's legit um so and i'll give you the whacker tones just because everybody seems to enjoy those so much there you go so um i'll go ahead and uh key up on it and we'll actually see the audio test one two three four five There you go. A little bit of an echo. So, um, this is nice because it has Bluetooth programming, um, tone signaling, all the cool stuff that the XTS didn't have. Um, Secure. Can toggle. Um, Clear. Toggle encryption. Um, interesting thing about this one is your um, your buttons, and we'll go through that here. So. Um, obviously these side buttons besides PTT are all programmable to whatever you want them to be. Um, basic CPS programming. Um, for this one I've got the orange as encryption Clear. toggle because we don't, um, we don't use emergency here. Um, this is your site scan display. Push talk scan on off. Scan. And then nuisance delete. Um, I've got all my zones here, so we'll go ahead and pop over to, eh, we'll just stay here. So we're looking at, um, the buttons here, um, home, regular keypad, data, all that good jazz. Um, this one has a toggle switch, so this is doubling as your volume but also your channel selector and the way you do that toggle um and i can 14 admin i can toggle with that switch and then click it and you can see it it changes uh changes talk groups channels whatever you're using for um so um yeah, pretty, uh, pretty easy. Um, so, um, yeah, I mean, it's not much different than other portables. Um, I mean, it, it really, um, uh, it really performs pretty well. Um, obviously this isn't safety of life style of, this is, this radio is, the system it's running on is not. Um, so... Um, yeah, I mean, um, really that's all to it. Um, it's a great portable. It's fairly light. Um, doesn't really, uh, doesn't really weigh too much. Um, I have a small XPR battery in it right now. I'll actually show you. Um, turn it off is interesting. Press and hold the button. It'll give you a menu option. Yes. And it's going to deregister from the system and shut off. Um, it takes regular 
uh, regular XPR batteries. Um, so yeah, really not um, not anything special. Um, this just doesn't happen to be impressed. I had this laying around. Other battery I have that's bigger is being used in a, a different radio. Um, put it in, push and hold. So nay. Boots right back up. So. Um, and then we'll go ahead and get the RSSI in there just for, for fun. Um, see how long it takes to connect. I'm gonna guess. Uh, come on. There it goes. Um, I have my RSSIs measured up weird. Um, I probably have to go back and change that. But um, we'll end it off with a whacker tone because I don't love those so much. Oh. There you go. That's all I got. Um, I'll have some more content up here shortly. Um, we're going to go over uh, the conversion process of these two XTS radios next. So stick around and we'll see you next time.